Good afternoon, everybody. Um, so um, starting off with the um, goal of the OCV working group, because um, I noticed everyone else had that at the beginning of their presentation, but I forgot to include it. Um, we focus on developing um, and revising normative and programmatic uh, guidance for countries and stakeholders um, who are planning, implementing and evaluating OCV campaigns. And um, last year we were quite ambitious with our activities that we'd set to do. So we've achieved a large chunk of them, but are still in progress with some of them. And these are the highlights of our achievements. Um, so the map you'll see here are the 16 cholera endemic countries um, in the darker orange. Uh, the lighter orange are the, the ones that are classified by GTFCC as the 47 endemic countries. Um, they've been trained on OCV requests and campaigns. We did two in um, Africa, a francophone at DRC that was mentioned a little bit earlier and um, also in Nigeria earlier last year. And then uh, we just finished a training in Nepal as well. And um, I really want to highlight that this is uh, a, a great collaborative activity that we did with multiple partners. Um, it was a great effort by Malika, MMGH, Gavi, CDC, uh, MSF, UNICEF, I think everyone, like, a lot of the main partners have been involved in this and um, so uh, great achievement there and then uh, the other big piece of work that we've been doing is um, supporting countries with their OCV multi-year um, requests as part of the the OCV preventive program that was launched by Gavi uh, this year um, and happy to report that uh, DRC submitted, or was one country that submitted their multi-year request so far this year. And again, um, this was a, obviously a large effort by the country, but was supported by multiple partners within the OCV working group as well. Um, we have initiated the OCV allocation framework, um, which is to inform a distribution of the OCV doses for preventive campaigns. Um, we've continued to make improvements with the interactive dashboard, which was displayed last year. And um, we developed and are, have been piloting this year the prioritization of cholera palmies for, um, for OCV, and that's still ongoing. And then the last piece that I wanted to highlight is some work that um, Andrew Asman has been leaving, leading from JHU, which is a systematic review of the two dose and one dose OCV effectiveness and efficacy. And then um, for our priorities moving forward for the next 12 months is to um, implement the next uh, regional OCV request and campaign workshop in the Eastern Mediterranean region, uh, which we're hoping to do in Q4 this year. Um, continuing to support countries with the development of their multi-year plans for preventive campaigns. And so for the remaining part of 2023, we have four countries that are prioritized. And again, this is a big um, multi-partner um, effort to support countries with this. Um, ongoing um, development of the supply allocation framework and SOP. And um, one of our uh, activities is to continue to develop tools and guidance for uh, standardizing m and &E of OCV campaigns, which is an area that's um, difficult to get information on in terms of coverage surveys, etc., especially around emergency campaigns. And so we're trying to um, move that piece forward, but for the moment, um, focusing on the dashboard data collection and um, the PAMI prioritization tool that I just mentioned. And then we'll be continuing to support countries to help determine their 2023-2026 um, OCV forecast to help inform um, production. And then in terms of challenges, um, as you've all heard, uh, we're kind of working in an environment of constrained vaccine stockpile. And this led the decision, um, the ICG decision to temporarily provide one dose instead of two doses for outbreak response. Um, We've seen delayed implementation of emergency campaigns and um, for some of the preventive um, request application development, um, it's been harder to engage EPI because cholera isn't traditionally part of their portfolio and they're already overworked and overstretched. So, um, But uh, I was also uh, requested to provide a call to action. So as the surveillance group mentioned as well, um, we ha and the lab group, um, we have 
tools and guidelines that we would love to pilot and make sure they're appropriate for use in countries. So please reach out to myself and Malika if you're interested to help us work on those. And um, if you're interested to have support for your OCV preventive application as well. Thank you.